Eyes. Let me get down here on my knee. Clean the eyes. Clean in here. Clean the nose. All up in there. Because if you don't, the bacteria collects. Mm -hmm. Then they start scratching. Okay? Mm -hmm. You don't want them to start scratching because if her nails are long, she's going to start making slits in the slip. And uh, they're going to start bleeding. Then you got an extra problem with those spots. So after I clean her eyes, and every, I think everybody knows she's got the bad eye. I get the bookers out every morning. All right? That's step one. Now, after we get the bookers out, What are we going to do next? Huh? We're going to brush the teeth. Yes. Toothpaste for dogs, okay? This is plaque gel. They have a problem, and if they have a periodontal problem, you don't want the bill. Most of you already know, I have the bill from her ingesting part of a chew toy that was about that big. So now, in between what you see me do in these videos, now you're looking at the behind the scenes, about $10. Uh-huh, yeah. This is just one. We're talking cost. Every third day, I would say, I have to get this plaque remover and do this. Come on, sis. And she don't like it. You take the end of the bottle, you open it up, and you apply it to each tooth. So, this is the kind of things you got to do when you have a book. I know, hold on. Having a bulldog. If the plaque fills up, then you got a real problem. It's the same way with a person. Poisoning your system. Another problem that we don't need. So we apply gel, and it helps the breath too. On the teeth. All the way back. Yep. All the way back. All the way back. Okay. Now you're done. Okay. Yep. So that's that. That's just part of it. Here's another thing. In having a bulldog, each rag is different. I've got another rag because you have to clean the pocket. This is called HEPA cleanse. There's other things, but it's an antibacterial, antifungal. You take the HEPA cleanse. I also like to dip the rag, wet it a little bit, uh -huh. and you hit HEPA cleanse. In fact pharmacist over at Rite Aid, when I was picking up my medication, he recommended this because I couldn't find duo wipes. So you're going to apply it to the rag like this because they have a tendency to spin. Okay, you see them spinning on the floor, that's because their putt is itching. They can't get to their putt, so they spin. You're tired of looking at the spinning because it's aggravating when you're trying to watch a movie. So here's what you do. You take it and you go inside that curly tail. And believe me, it gets really sweaty and really stinky. And if Cece jumps on the bed, I don't want it in my face. So in order to do that, you clean the pocket just like that. It doesn't itch. And she doesn't spin and aggravate me to hell. Now, there's another thing I like to say. All this is out-of-pocket cost. And I don't have health care, so my medication is out-of-pocket cost. When I moved here, I had a certain amount in my savings account. I have no savings, absolutely none left. So it's all gone now. Taking care of her, that's why you see me doing the things that I'm doing. Another reason that I took Facebook Messenger out is because somebody told me that I didn't have the right. They actually said that I didn't have the right to be mad at my situation. Ooh, oh, God. It's all right. It's all right, Amy.
They told me that I didn't have the right to be mad at my situation. Anybody tells you that they, you don't have the right to feel the way that you feel, get the hell away from them because they're negative and you don't need them in your life, okay? Other than that, we're doing well. Erie Harbor is what it is, as I told you. Yeah, when we moved out of there, I knew it was going to be a little bit more expensive because we pay electric. But you know what? Having faith in God, just like when I lay here, sometimes I don't ask people for anything. Yes, I still go to the food covers because I feel that my faith is strong enough. When I get sick, I ask God, please heal me. Laid up here three, four days, only a couple people call. They shall remain nameless because I know who my friends are, especially after what happened on Facebook with Messenger. I really know who my friends are. That being said, it's time for me to go finish those walls that you saw me doing last night. So I want to say, hey, everybody, have a good day. Stay positive. If you have a dream, follow that dream. Don't let nobody sway you, okay? Signing off.